Hi, everyone. So over on Patreon, one of my patrons asked about how do you do graphics mode programming in Open Watcom? So I wanted to do a quick video on that. So before we get into graphics programming, let me just talk real quickly about text mode programming. And if you remember, uh, when you do text mode programming, and here I've got a sample program called text.c. It's very simple. You can see that when you set your text position, it's always as row and then column. And the upper left-hand corner of the screen is 1, 1, and the upper right-hand corner of the screen is 180, because that's row 1, column 80. And so that's what this program does, the sample program. It just uh, puts an, a right bracket uh, at the upper right-hand corner of the screen and a left bracket at the upper left-hand corner of the screen. And if I run that, you can see that's exactly what I'm getting, right? So I got 1, 1 is the upper left, and 180 is in the upper right. Well, when you do graphics programming, it's actually a little different. All the graphics programming, uh, you're actually going to be doing x, y coordinates, and the upper left-hand corner of the screen is 0, 0. So let's do a simple program here to show how do you do uh, graphics mode programming using Open Watcom. So let's start a new program here. We'll just do a color bar program. So we'll do a fed on uh, colors.c. And for this, I need to uh, just do a couple of things here with a standard include. So we'll do a standard uh, io.h, and then we're going to do an include on graph.h, because that's going to do our graphics mode. And I'm going to do an include on conio.h, and that's so I can do things like get character or get ch. Uh, I'm going to be programming in uh, 640 by 480. So I'm going to real quick define some things here. I'm going to do a define on the uh, the X resolution uh, as being uh, 640 and the uh, Y resolution being 480. And I'm going to just use that as our constant reminder that we're going to be programming in 640 by 480. If I just do a uh, int main... Let's write a program that just real quick uh, flips into graphics mode and then draws a rectangle. So we can use one of the basic uh, functions of creating a rectangle. And so in this case, we're going to uh, set video mode on, uh, instead of doing things like text C80, we're actually going to do VRES 16 color. And that means we're going to be in 16 color mode uh, at the VGA resolution. It's going to be 640 by 480. 16 colors. Normally I would do some error checking around here to make sure that we actually were able to flip into graphics mode, but I know what I'm doing here. And so it's just a test. Just want to show uh, what we're doing here. So in terms of uh, doing a rectangle, so let's do a rectangle here. And that's with the rectangle function, underscore rectangle. And to do that, we're going to tell it, I want to fill the interior of that. And so you need to give the first parameter is basically, is it going to be an outline? Or are we going to fill the interior? Is it a filled uh, rectangle or not? And so for this, we're going to do G fill interior. And then I want to put this starting at uh, 0, 0, which is the upper left-hand corner. And I want to move it all the way to the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. And so what is that? Well, that's going to be X res minus 1 and then Y res minus 1. Because what, you know, if we're starting at 0, 0, then the right-hand side of the screen isn't actually 640. It's actually 639. So I'm just going to define that here as X res minus 1. And then the bottom of the screen, of course, isn't 480. It's actually 479. But I'm going to make that just X, uh, Y res minus 1. And so that's our rectangle. And uh, just to do a quick little test here, uh, let's just uh, get a character and then we'll quit back to DOS. So we'll do uh, get CH and then we'll set video mode back to our default mode. That'll put us back into our standard text mode. And then once we're back, we'll just put out a simple little string to let us know that we actually exited OK. So put S OK and then we'll return zero. Very simple program. We'll do some more with it here in just a second. But just to get us started, oh, I probably, before I do anything else, I probably should set the color here. So uh, we haven't actually set the color. So how do you set the color? We're going to do that with a function called set color. And it's the same colors that you're using in text mode, right? Zero through seven for your low intensity colors, uh, and then eight to 15 for your upper intensity colors. So let's just do a, a background color here 
or a, a, a color here of, uh, let's do it as uh, color 14. That should be a nice bright yellow. And so I'll just go ahead and save. And then we'll compile that program with WCL colors.c. I haven't made any uh, errors, so it looks like I have a clean compile. And now I can run colors. And so I have a bright yellow screen, uh, friendly yellow color there to remind me that, yeah, actually it works. And it completely fills the screen. I don't see a black background around there. So that's good to know. So let's go ahead and make a color test here. So let's go ahead and edit our colors.c program. And let's get, this middle, get rid of this middle part so we can actually uh, do some other work. Uh, I want to do, I want to iterate across my colors. So I'm going to do uh, int color. And then in here, I'm going to do a for loop. And so for color equals uh, zero, and we'll just do the low intensity colors here for a second. Uh, color is uh, less than eight, and then color plus plus, right? So that's going to give us from, from zero to seven. And uh, for that, I'm going to set color, or the color that I'm iterating through. Let's go ahead and draw a rectangle. So uh, rectangle, and we're going to fill the interior. So G fill interior. And then uh, where do we want to start this? Well, I'm going to actually uh, fill the entire screen with the first one. I'm going to start with zero, zero. But as I move through the rest of the colors, I want to keep moving off to the right-hand side. I want to make, basically make each successive rectangle uh, smaller, but always ending up on the right-hand side of the screen. So for that, I'm just going to do some simple math, and I'll just let the compiler do the, uh, uh, the work for me here. So we'll do, uh, this is from x res uh, divided by 8 uh, times the color. And that means that at color equals 0, it's going to be 0. And at color equals 1, it's going to start at 1 eighth over on the screen. And then the next one, 2 eighths over on the screen, all the way over to 7 eighths on the screen. And then that's going to always start at 0. So that's uh, the upper part of the screen is y equals 0. And then I want it to be the lower right-hand side of the screen. So it'll be uh, x res minus 1, oops, x res minus one, and then y res minus one. And so that's my rectangle. And so what I'm doing here is I'm just filling in a bunch of rectangles from the left-hand side of the screen to the right-hand side of the screen. All I'm doing is just the background colors, the, the low intensity colors from zero to uh, seven. Go ahead and save and quit, and we'll recompile that. WCL, let's go ahead and uh, do quiet mode on our compiling. So colors.c. And it's a little bit easier to read, so I don't have quite so much noise, and so I don't see any errors there, so it looks like I can go ahead and run colors. And so you can see here I've got uh, black is zero color, so that's why I'm getting black in the left-hand side, and then blue, green, cyan, red, uh, magenta, uh, and then orange, and uh, white. So I'm getting all of my uh, seven colors here with this test, so that's great. Let's go ahead and add some uh, high-intensity colors. So let's go ahead and exit out of that, and then we'll edit program one more time here and I can do this I don't actually do it have to do another loop I can actually do it inside this loop so let's go ahead and add to this program uh, inside the loop and we're gonna go ahead and now set a bright color of uh, color uh, plus eight right that gets me to a bright color the bright version of that and so I'm going to now set a rectangle and I want it to be, of course, filled in. So G fill interior. And I still want it to have the same uh, X coordinate, starting X coordinate. So I'm going to borrow what I've got up above. So X res divided by eight times the color. But I actually want it to be half of the Y resolution. So I'm just going to say uh, Y res by two. And then the uh, ending coordinate is still the bottom right hand side of the screen. So I'm going to do x res minus 1, and then y res minus 1. Okay, that's my uh, function there. So I've got, uh, now I'm, I, I'm up above, I'm defining a, uh, a rectangle uh, that is a background, a low intensity color uh, from 0 to 7. And then uh, down here, I'm defining another rectangle that's sitting on top of it, but the bottom part of the screen that's using a bright, a high intensity 
color. So that's what I'm going to do there. Go ahead and exit that, and then we'll recompile WCL, and then we'll do slash Q to make it quiet. Colors.c. Not seeing any errors there, so I can go ahead and run colors. You can see it's very quickly just uh, drawing my uh, bright intensity colors on the bottom part of the screen. And, you know, we could actually stop here, but actually uh, bright colors, uh, you can see a color test. They also have these bright white and bright black next to each other. So you can kind of check the, uh, uh, basically the, 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 uh, uh, the contrast. So let's go ahead and uh, add those real quick here, and that'll actually make our graphics complete. We'll do fed colors.c. Uh, to do this, I'm going to go ahead and real quick write a, a function about is it odd. So I'm going to do an int function of is odd and then uh, or an integer n. And uh, we've done that uh, function before in other programs. It's just basically returning the value of n with an and of one. It's a binary and. And so basically the one bit is going to determine if it's odd or not. So basically we're detecting if the one bit has been turned on. So if it's uh, an odd number like one, three, or five, it'll always have the one bit set. And if it's like two, four, eight, right? Those are numbers that are going to be even. So the one will not be set in that case. So I can, that's how I'm doing is odd. And so the down here, I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, just do a, I'm going to add to my, my loop. I'm going to go ahead and, Say, okay, uh, uh, I'm going to set the color, uh, and it depends if it's uh, odd or not. So I'm actually going to do that, that inline if, if you remember what inline if looks like. So uh, is odd for the color, and uh, if it's odd, then it's going to um, question... It's our test if it's odd and if it's uh, if it's odd we'll, we'll make it black which is zero otherwise colon 15 we're going to make that a bright white so that's what that's going to do um and so basically that's going to be black or a bright white and then we're going to go ahead and set a rectangle so uh, let's go ahead and say uh, a rectangle and um, it's going to be a filled interior. So G fill interior. And then we'll put that at the same starting point we've been doing before. I'm going to basically have these line up. So we're going to do X res divided by eight times the color. Uh, but where do I want it to be? Uh, I want it to be uh, a little bit off of the, uh, the halfway point. So I'm going to have it go to uh, start at uh, y res divided by 2 minus 20. And so that's going to basically start 20 pixels above the midpoint. Um, let's add into the line here so I can see what's going on. And then the ending point is going to be um, at uh, x res uh, minus 1 basically push it all the way to the right-hand side of the screen. Uh, and then where do I want it to uh, be? At the Y side, we'll make it 20 pixels below the midpoint. So we'll do Y res divided by 2 plus 20. And that should be that. So that should give us an alternating of black and white. If I've done that correctly, I'll go ahead and save and quit. And we'll do our Watcom compiler and linker. We'll set it to quiet mode. And then colors.c. And I don't see any errors, so I can go ahead and run colors. And so there we have a full color test. And so this is allowing me to see uh, all the colors that I've got on screen. You can see that up on top, I've got uh, my low intensity colors. So again, black, blue, green, cyan, red, magenta, brown, and low intensity white. And on the bottom side, I've got the bright versions of each of those colors. So I got bright black, bright blue, bright green, bright uh, cyan, bright red, bright magenta, uh, bright yellow, and a bright white. And then across the middle where every one of those meet, so basically 20, starting at 20 pixels above and ending at 20 pixels below the middle of my screen, uh, I'm just creating an alternating series of uh, bright white and bright black. And so you see that in a lot of test panels, just to kind of see what the contrast looks like. And I think it looks nice because by the time you get to on the right-hand side, you've got a nice black strip that's uh, dividing each of those colors. And anyway, that's just a quick demonstration of how you will 
uh, use open Watcom with the rectangle and set color functions to do very simple graphics mode in uh, FreeDOS. And uh, I'll do another follow-up uh, program that actually shows how you might use some of these simple functions to create a very simple graphical uh, board like we might do for a game. But I'll do it as a follow-up video and you'll see that one tomorrow. So uh, what do you think about this video? Are there other videos you'd like me to cover? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Before I go, I want to thank everybody who supports me on Patreon. You really do make this channel happen. And this topic was suggested by somebody on Patreon. Some of you are sponsoring me at a higher level, and I want to thank you especially here for that. So thank you very much. Visit our website at freedos.org. Join us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. Consider supporting me on Patreon. Thank you.